Hey everybody. Okay, so you saw the last video. Um, that's interesting. Some of them felt it was what unacceptable. So you come here to a new country, you have no money, but you are being housed and fed off the taxpayers, the tax dollars. See, in America, we have no money, we have to do without. That's why people try to get their hustle on, work to provide for their families, and sometimes it's still not enough. The other part I wanted to address, especially to the BC, because so many for the BC be worried about those people, which is fine, but who worried about you? Sweetheart, life is business. You need to worry about you, boo, first. Because, did you hear what he said, she said about permanent housing and housing subsidies? Housing subsidies, mm, let's see, sounds like Section 8 to me, welfare. Housing subsidies? Sounds like Section 8 to me, permanent housing. So let's stop and think. As I was saying, what's the plan? Because on my understanding, I knew it's common sense. All those folk in that hotel at the row, it is not financially feasible that that could not continue. So you had to know that there would be a day that it was going to end. You understand? Now, here's the part for the BC. I know we already know everything, but here's the part you they're not listening to. And videos like this, a lot of our people, they, they're, I ain't worried about it. Oh, you will be. As you probably heard on the beast, uh, when it comes to these vouchers, a lot of these new, uh, a lot of the uh, apartment complexes, they are not willing to accept these Section A voucher. No kidding, no fooling. No, it's not a surprise to me. So, if you cannot secure an apartment or place to live with the voucher, the voucher's no good. So, if it's no good, you're going to end up on the street. And more than likely, you'll say, hey, you know what? I couldn't get a place to live. I got to go stay with somebody. I'm just going to walk away from the bathroom. We're just going to walk away. Here's people may say, oh, that's a stretch. Think again. While a lot of our people are sitting up, girl, man, you see her on the, on the video. Man, when she turned around, I was like, dang, it's going down. You worried about the wrong thing. You like children. You worried about infinitesimal matters when real life is going on. So stop and think. If the voucher's no good for the ones that have it, and many black people, that I'm seeing that's complaining about it on the news. If you can't use it, more than likely you're going to probably do well with that voucher. I can't use it. You might just give up and just go on. You might follow the program. Did you hear the lady say house and subsidies? Either way, that tells me the next thing that they're going to do, if they're willing to pay for a hotel with the tax dollars, you think they won't put them on a housing program on welfare on Section Eight? Hell, they're already on it. What do, what do you think? This is this is not a loan. This is not the SBA with your loan program. This is Section A. This is a housing. They're just staying in a hotel. What's the next move? I bet a Section A voucher is going to be the next move. How are they going to get permanent housing? You don't even have papers. You don't even work. You don't even have a job. So how are you going to get permanent housing? Only thing I can think of when she said that permanent housing, that means go ahead and sign up all these illegal immigrants and go ahead and sign them up for Section A benefits. Sign them up for welfare. That's what that sounds like to me. Now, well, that's them. I'm already on it. There's already in most states a waiting list. Okay? Already a waiting list. Let's go further. They're not paying for the American citizens, the taxpayers. I'm hearing about black women and children that are homeless at, at massive rates. They're not paying for you to stay inside of a hotel. Right? That's what I'm hearing. You go to a shelter or you're out of luck. They're not paying for you, for the women and children. Let's say to BC. They're not paying for you to stay inside of, of a hotel. They're prioritizing the illegal immigrants. What the heck makes you think when they sign all of them up for welfare that they're not going to skip the line on you, boo? I'm already on the list. Well, good for you. Oh, boo, whippity woo. Good for you. Just like they have these people in these hotels. Don't be surprised when they start to sign them up. Permanent housing. Okay, but you don't even have a job. So how can you secure housing and you have no money, no job? Only one way I can think of. It has to be on welfare. Section 8. 
So just like they prioritize illegal immigrants and got them in those hotels, don't be foolish and think they're not going to part if they put they start putting them on Section A, which I'm sure that's going to be the plan to move. I mean, what else can they do? Don't be surprised if they started uh, putting them prioritizing them first. Again, they already have. This right here is a major statement, especially to the to the population of the Americans that are homeless and that need help. A lot of people are one inch away from being homeless, and it's sad to say, and more companies are going to lay off. Every time I look up, it's like, my gosh, one of this person, this company, then somebody else, oh my gosh. So, next thing you know, permanent housing, I'm like, they don't even work, you don't have a job, so how can you afford a place? No, Section A, boo. And if you think that they're going to go by the list, well, the I'm on the list for two years, and then in five years, if you think that they're not going to prioritize these people, uh, good luck with that. They are prioritizing them right now. They've made them their priority. As you sleep in the ATM vestibule, as Americans sleep on the sidewalk, couch surfing. They could have been on this for the American homeless if they wanted to, but they didn't. Think about it. So, yeah. So this right here, you had them about all oh, you new oh uh all these on section A. It's a lot of white women on it too, but of course they're gonna protect Becky. In my opinion, they see about their own. I mean, who who wouldn't? I got a feeling the vouchers are gonna tighten up for the American people, and I think they're gonna have all these illegal immigrants sitting up on section A vouchers, food stamps, the whole nine yards. Again, uh, many of them will have a place to eat and sleep, haven't paid into the system worth anything, child. And you're going to have a many Amer mini American homeless and on the street. How can they get permanent, permanent housing? Oh, I see. You don't even work. Permanent housing? It can only be permanent housing in one way. That would have to be through Section A. So it would be a matter of time. We get them some papers. I will not be surprised if they, and again, it's just my opinion, my commentary. I will not be surprised if they're going to go ahead and sign them up for more welfare benefits. And you're going to see more Americans on the list going to be pushed for the bottom, at the bottom of the list. Because they got to take care of the replacements. And these people, I, who, who have they voted for? They just got here, got here. They just crossed over, heard about some freebies. And hey, I wouldn't blame them. And they're already feeling entitled. What's not acceptable? Well, you can go home. That's what you can do. It's not acceptable. It speaks volumes. I already feel entitled. I got the big head. IA and the new immigrants. All I'm going to say is a lot of Americans, even, and, and again, aside from nationality, even white people, anybody that's at the bottom, you're going to have a harder time because this is going to be your competition right here. And companies know that they can work less. And see, the other thing is for the BC, I mean, good luck because these people, they know how to work together. Mm -hmm. They know how to work together they'll be staying up in there in that place move somebody else in nobody's gonna dime them out then the next thing you know they'll be sitting up this person got a job staying with somebody on section a and working they know how to pull together and then that will be used to say see look these people came here five or ten years ago watch they will do the comparison look at black america why you couldn't make it work why because everybody can pull together except this one group so this right here Permanent housing? Oh, <laughs> I can see it now. It wouldn't surprise me. This lets me think that's called for Section A. Again, permanent housing? Tax pay, haven't paid into the system. That's code for Section A. They got a plan. BC? What's your plan? Many of us are so, because we got 50 bucks till Friday, we think we're doing okay. And they have no idea what life is about, what's happening before their very eyes. And that's why when things happen, they don't understand. Again, for the BC, what is your plan? And I'm out. Feel free to come, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. Love ya.